Hello everybody! I hope you're doing well. Courtney is on vacation today and will be for a couple of days, so you'll be seeing my face on um, Friday, Saturday, and into Sunday's service. Um, I am coming to you with a quote today about Philippians 2, which Courtney has focused on for the last week during his daily online devotionals. And it's also the lectionary text that we'll be examining on Sunday during worship. And I've been challenged by this quote, so I wanted to bring it to you um, to see if it might challenge you as well. Um, the quote is from Andrew Murray, who was a gentleman who lived in the 1800s to early 1900s. And it is concerning humility, which is a key um, topic of Philippians 2. Humility is perfect quietness of heart. It is to expect nothing to wonder at nothing that is done to me, to feel nothing done against me. It is to be at rest when nobody praises me, and when I am blamed or despised. It is to have a blessed home in the Lord, where I can go in and shut the door, and kneel to my Father in secret, and am at peace as in a deep sea of calmness, when all around and above is trouble. And I think this quote spoke to me because I've really been trying to work to reconcile in my head what it looks like to be humble enough to put others above yourself while also still meeting your own needs and the needs of your family. And so trying to think through what that looks like um, in your home, at work, in church. Um, and I really felt uh, a connection when I read that humility is a perfect quietness of heart. Because I feel like there's so many times where I'm moving from task to task to task in life, just trying to maintain that it is hard to have a quiet heart. And um, that is a goal, something that I uh, would like to achieve. But I also know that joy can be accomplished and enjoyed even in the midst of struggling to meet our daily needs. Um, and that's something that's talked about in Philippians as well. But um, the next part that was super challenging uh, was to expect nothing, to wonder at nothing that is done to me, to feel nothing done against me, but especially to be at rest when nobody praises me and when I am blamed or despised. So I feel like a lot of times the strife that we have in life is um, based on the expectations that other people have for us. And it might not even be their actual expectations. It might be the expectations that we place on ourselves. Um, so if we can be at rest doing our best and doing the good work that we know needs to be done, even when nobody else notices, um, the thought of that is actually very freeing. So if we observe things that need to be done in our world, and we do them to the best of our abilities and nobody notices, the good work should stand on its own. And we can know that that good work is noticed by God, even if it's not noticed by anyone here on earth. And if it's meeting the need that somebody else has, that's a fabulous thing. Then it says, it is to have a blessed home in the Lord, where I can go in and shut the door and kneel to my Father in secret. And I'm at peace in a deep sea of calmness when all above and around is trouble. And I feel like, especially lately, everywhere I look, there is trouble. Um, in doing ministry, I learn about a lot of need. And there is um, need within my own family. There is need within our church. There is need within our community. And all of these needs cannot possibly be met all at one time. But taking those needs to God... Um, continuing to work to meet those needs um, and knowing that God is the one that provides the sustenance and the energy for us to continue on um, helping even when situations are difficult is um, something to remember as well from uh, Philippians 2 12 and 13 God is going to be the source of the energy and the patience that we have to do this work and when I was reading the commentary about Philippians 2, um, there was a commentator from theworkingpreacher.org. And he said that 
Um, humility is a necessary ingredient for community unity. And true hum humility is measured not by low self-evaluation, but by demonstrable concern for others. So we don't have to totally debase ourselves, but we do have to go about caring for others in a way that might be inconvenient, it might be difficult sometimes, it might be uncomfortable sometimes, but we can know that if we are making a demonstrable effort to help others, that we are doing the work that we are called to do. And if we know in our hearts that that is what we are doing on a day-to-day -day basis, we can have quietness of heart even when nobody else notices. I'm going to leave you now. Um, the setting for my video was not nearly as beautiful as Courtney's, um, but it's been a crazy week of broken phones and flat tires and um, real life in the world of a pandemic and working parenthood and I was eating Ruffles potato chips, full disclosure, um, on my couch at midnight right before bringing these thoughts to you. So I will encourage you to have lots of compassion for others this week, as well as plenty of compassion and grace for yourself. Uh, peace be with you all. I'll see you tomorrow.